So hello and welcome back to another coin video from the Madu Coin Connect Gate. My name is Glenn and in today's video I'm taking some time off from trolling on Facebook and we're going to review this coin set. So this is the baby set and every year since what was it, 1993, so that's, hmm, that's 30 years, they've actually produced a coin set for uh, use as you know you give it to a child so basically the major difference apart from the coin on the pack is you can put the details of the actual child uh, that you're giving it to and they include a token so this token is nickel brass sulfur no it's not that it's probably steel nickel bronze steel i would say that because you've got copper nickel up here you got aluminium bronze, got nickel, I'd say nickel brass steel, but we'll have a look in a minute. And it's uncirculated. And the designer for these coins, at least the $2 and the token, is D. Hardy, and the rest is Royal Australian Mint. So obviously various uh, people have not been attributed. So you'll probably find some information if you probably check in mint reports or even you email the mint. So, uh, this is a bit different than the uncirculated coin set. And another factor is I think an S20 from uh, Samsung. The camera is really shocking. So here's the uncirculated coin set. So this uh, usually has some standard coins, but this year it probably has uh, coins not issued for circulation. So I recommend that if you haven't got these in your collection, you get both of them. They're actually quite nice. So the baby set uh, if we take it out of the packet so the only problem with these packets is this it's a bit hard it's a bit small so we have the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II so it's a Jody Clark effigy uh, it's all quite nice with 2023's and I just want to know if they're going to issue a Charles King Charles uh, set for 2023 and if we look at the designs on this coin uh, this is the third year that they're going to issue these designs so with the baby sets they go in a three year period so this is the last of the baby toys which started in 2021 so and I had it in 2022 so in 2021 they issued the special designs in the 5 20 and the one dollar in 2022, they issued the 10 cent, 50 cent, and two dollar uh, designs. And in 2023, they combined the designs and put them both together. So that's why these coins have all uh, these special designs in them because it's the last coin set. So next year, they're going to issue a different design. So uh, the first one they had, what's that, 93 to 95, was a gum nut. They also had that in 90, no, they went to 97 for that one. And then uh, from 98, it's Frozen Beauty, Koala. But from 2003, 2005 was the Bush Baby Koala. So that's from 2003 is when they actually started issuing uh, the three-year rotation. Then 96 to 98, Magic Pudding. Those ones are not as popular. Uh, they still at issue price pretty much thirty dollars. Uh, then a donkey build to two thousand eleven. Dot the kangaroo two thousand fourteen. The alphabet two thousand seventeen. And the magic possum to twenty twenty for the baby toys. So the only mintage figures I got is twenty four thousand one hundred eighty two for twenty twenty one. So these are a lot lower uh, mintage than. The actual uncirculated ones they're only about a third of the mintage so uh, these are not as popular probably because uh, they don't have colored coins in them the current uncirculated coin sets seem to be popular because of the colored coins but in all of these baby sets they have at least one coin usually either a 50 cent or a dollar that is designed especially just for that coin set and they have the token. So 
And as you can see, the token itself is the coloured uh, part of the actual coin set. And that token is actually quite nice. So, uh, and all of these are stuffed animals. That's why it is the baby toys. So if we look at the individual coins, we have the echidna. Quite nice. We have the lyrebird and the ten cent. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone eventually finds these in circulation. Two dollar we have the actual child with uh, the hanging stars. So I guess the Southern Cross you can see there. No, that's very interesting. And they probably should have had like uh, the actual grass tree down there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the grass tree could have been something else. I'm not too sure if that coin set was actually damaged. I'll take it out and have a look in a minute. Then we have the kangaroos, the coat of arms, and it's got a present instead of the actual coat of arms, but it's quite interesting. Then we have the platypus, you see the bubbles that make up the wavy lines on the initial coin. Okay, so you see we've got the wavy lines, and here you have bubbles. It is very interesting. And if we look at the effigy, it's all pretty much the same. Yeah. So I need to check to see if that is. Oh no, that's just a hair on it. Damn. I was hoping it would have been an actual. Oh, this one's a bit wet. I was hoping it was going to be a strike through. But anyway. Uh, it looks like that two dogs were damaged. So, uh, once again, we can actually open these. So, if we put it on the side, so the seal is, where is this seal? Okay, so, okay, get your fingernails in there. That's why I've got long fingernails. First, you can scratch people. Right, second of all, it's easier to open stuff. So and then you can actually take it out. So I'm not too sure if it's the actual cover that's scratched or if it's the coins. So then we can actually check the individual coins themselves. And see if there's any damage in it. You can see the rims have some damage. Yeah, the two dollar. Yeah, you can see the two dollars been scratched. So obviously the quality control is not that good. So these probably would have been minted in bulk and just chucked in the barrel and then they plucked them out. But I don't see any of the other coins actually having that much damage on them. So maybe if you get that, you can probably send it back to Royal Australian Mint so you want it replaced. Uh, let me bet I'm not really going to worry about that. Uh, five cent has some damage on it. The ten cent. Seems fine. So here's the fifth, uh, two dollar again. As you can see, I uh, have some scratch marks on the actual coin. So check the coins once you get them to make sure that there is no damage. Uh, yeah, the one dollar also has it as well. And the fifty cent. So, and also some sellers will probably try and commit fraud and say. Oh, that's an error coin. Look at that. It's uh has some errors on it. No, that's not errors. That's just mint damage. Post mint damage, actually. Because uh, it's not in the mint process. Uh, it's caused afterwards. Just normal stuff you get when coins bang against each other or hit something else. So anyway, that is the actual uncirculated coin set. So, the cost of these is $50, so they are a bit more. It's only $17 more than the uncirculated coin set. Get rid of that light. And these always have been a little bit more. Uh, but if we look at the, the only other ones I got is 2007 and eight. And they initially cost $30, uh, but the price is pretty much still $30, so you can get those a good price. I'm not too sure on the values of the other ones. The Uranus catalog has them at least double the value, but 
in the future or whatever to just bring it up um, in today's market. So uh, I'd recommend you actually, if you collect uncirculated coins, then you should probably get some of these. If you want to take it out and put it into a little capsule or even a two by two, you know, give it extra protection. But this coin cover, as you can see, it's quite durable plastic and it should be suffice to actually protect the actual coins uh, once you get them. Uh, but, you know, I'm not too keen on the actual white on it, uh, maybe a different color. Well, maybe they can actually put some information about the actual coins themselves. Uh, that would be great because unlike the other previous coin sets, uh, these lack information, no information on the actual coin. Anyway, for $50, yeah, I'm probably going to collect these every year. Uh, I don't collect proof sets because you got to put a restriction on what you're going to collect. Plus, you know, my medieval coins and Roman coins are not really going to collect themselves if, uh, you know, you just got to put a limit on your budget and whatever you're going to collect. Anyway, thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.